Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Games Made by Gamers. Now what this is, is a Let's Play series, and I know I've done a lot of Let's Plays in the past, but this is something a little different I'm starting, where I'm playing fan-made games, and the best thing about this is if you guys look in the description below, I will have a link so you guys can play these games yourselves. And what better way to kick this new series off is with a fan-made Castlevania game. This is Castlevania, the Lakari Chronicles. This was made by MIG back in 2013. It's a development company uh, based out of France. And definitely check their website out because they have a lot of fan-made games, including a Double Dragon one, which I'm kind of intrigued about. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay. Now one thing you'll notice about this game as well is just about the whole game, sprite-wise and graphical-wise, it's all original stuff. Um, this game, of course, takes place in 1776 in Spain, and uh, you're playing as uh, Efron Nakari, not a Belmont, but he kicks just as much ass. Now, this is the opening stage, and you'll notice the music is from Castlevania the Arcade, um, Vampire Killer. That's a really hard arcade game. Now, I'm playing this with the PS4 controller. You circle the jump, triangle the hit. So I'm just gonna go through here and they did such a great job on this game. I mean the graphics You know rival Super Castlevania. Oh, I tried to hit him Oh, it's fire All right I mean, they did such a great job with this game. It's so much fun. The blood makes you think of uh, Bloodlines from the Sega Genesis, which is really cool. Little sub boss. I'm just doing completely horrible. There he goes. Nice, got the axe sub weapon. One thing I like about this game as well, uh, you don't have to push up to go up steps. That's a Castlevania achievement right there. Especially, you know, doing like the jump and pushing up at the same time to do like maybe something like that. It's always, whoa. <laughs> was always, oh God, was always kind of tricky in the other Castlevanias. You still get hit back, which I've always hated that in um, the early Castlevanias. You get knocked back, so maybe if you get hit while trying to jump a platform, you get kind of messed up. Now, when I first played this, I thought this was a boss battle, but it's kind of like an endurance match. It's really interesting. I think it's just to get a little bit more hearts, maybe. Oh god. There. Alright. Oh shit. Now this is kind of cool. How they had like the guy fall off the coffin and it becomes a platform. That's pretty sweet. Ooh. And this is like... Get into the boss. It's like a misty, musky, big zombie guy, Frankenstein. With really bad breath. He has, what is that, hematosis, hematosis? Oh, I died. I knew I was going to die because I didn't have that much health, but. I'm gonna do a little better this time. What sucks is I don't have a sub weapon this time, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Come 
Come on. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to do the jump back flip like they do in Rondo of Blood. You know you do some things in games that you just always do. That was one of the things. Now what's really cool is I now got the item crash level one. You actually get sub weapons that you can level up in this game. Kind of has a um, action RPG element to it, which is kind of cool. Evil energy emerges from the stone monument. That is an emblem of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'll let you guys read the rest. <laughs> so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Austria, where a castle lies nearby a lake. I like how he's in Spain, he's like, I should just go to Austria. Just go to Austria. Why not? No, this is this is an original track. I don't think this is from Castlevania. Which sounds good. I, I really wish there was more original music in this game. That's my only gripe about this game that I have. Is uh, I wish it had original music. But I mean, honestly, if this was like on PSN or Xbox Live or Wii U, if this was something that was out, I would definitely pay money for it. I mean, this is, they put a lot of heart and soul into this game. Little logo right there. Now, what's really cool about this game is not only does it have like that classic Castlevania stage based stuff, but I'll go ahead and show you guys right here because I'm not going to be able to get in. I'm like, oh no, I can't get in. It's a magical barrier. I must find a way. I must go to town. You actually go to town, like in Castlevania 2, and you investigate and you find out what you need to do to get to uh, the castle and stuff like that. Which is kind of cool. I like that. I really like that. Some more classic Castlevania stuff, and you just push up and and talk to people. You can't go in the oh, you can never mind. You can go in, so you can rest. So this is like Castlevania too, not as not as cryptic though. Um, but yeah, let's see what the little kid has to say. Ooh, better listen to your mom, dude. But. I, I'm, I showed you guys what this game's all about. I'm not going to play any more of it because I actually have the download link below so you guys can download this game and try it yourselves. I, I highly recommend it. If you're a big Castlevania fan, this is a must play. You can play it with a PlayStation 4 controller like I did. And it's great. It's great. And uh, be sure to let me know what you guys think about this uh, new series. Be sure to leave a comment below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming. Can't get enough of Excess Gaming Podcast? Be sure to check out our audio podcast on podomatic.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes. And if you have a YouTube channel or podcast you'd like to share, be sure to check us out on Facebook on our group page and join the community. As always, guys, thank you so much for all the support, and happy gaming.